Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a hair care routine. Um, this was requested a few videos back and I thought I'd just do it because I didn't really care about my hair until I started dyeing it probably about six months ago. Um, I literally only just used to use shampoo, like hair dry it and then that was me like good to go whereas now I use so many different products and I can actually really tell the difference in my hair um, because I'm using them especially if you have got coloured or bleached hair um, like I have it's really important to keep your hair in good condition so these are the products I use and the routine I have in place I'm not saying it will work for everyone um, but I guess I'll show you them so to start off with my hair is like very fine um, it's fine but there's a lot of it. I do have to wash my hair sort of every other day um, otherwise it, it would just get ridiculously greasy and it is really irritating. I know people say just wash your hair less frequently but that just doesn't work for me. I've tried it and I just can't like I end up looking like a chip pan. Do you know what I mean? It's just not gonna not a look. Shampoo and conditioner for the longest time I literally just used anything um i buy whatever was on offer but i just wanted to try something different basically and i tried these which are the bed head shampoo and conditioner they're from two different ranges though so the shampoo i've got is the recharge and that's for like dull lifeless hair that's this one here um, I got this because when you bleach your hair and, or dye it, it is quite easy for your hair to become quite dead um, and straw-like and I didn't want that. So this is really good for putting the moisture back into your hair and give it a bit more life. In both of these bottles you get 750ml and I actually get these from B&M. They're like 6 pounds they've lasted me for months, they're absolutely amazing and I'll definitely be buying them again. The only thing I worry about is obviously with it being from B&M they might not keep them forever um, but I can find an alternative and buy them somewhere else I would really recommend these though um, and I think Bedhead's quite a good brand as well not that brands really make a difference if a product works, it works but that I do love this shampoo so I use this nearly every time I wash my hair unless I'm doing like a hair mask or something which I'll go on to later but this is an absolute staple, I absolutely love it and then the conditioner I use is the Bedhead Fully Loaded Volumising Conditioning Jelly. So this isn't like your normal creamy conditioner, it's more like, well, a gel. Um, but the reason I've got this is because my hair sometimes is really flat. Like, it will just be looking like it's sat on the top of my head. This conditioner gives it so much volume and life, um, and it smells nice how many times am I going to say it smells nice just trust me it's really really nice and like I say this has lasted me forever as well um so I would really recommend this as well and they like I said they were both 6 99 so the shampoo and this was 6 99 so like I said I never used to use anything other than shampoo looking back I don't know how I did it but now on top of using my shampoo and conditioner once a week I will treat my hair with um, a scrub and then a mask so instead of using my normal shampoo and conditioner that's what I'll do I was looking into it for ages um, you know what can I use to help battle dandruff help battle dry scalp you know really just get rid of all the build up of gunk that sounds disgusting but you know what I mean when your roots just feel really clogged up and I came across this now this is the Umberto Gianni Grow Scrub Grow Scrub? grow scrub so basically with this you use it instead of your shampoo um i use it once a week like i said and it just it's like rubbing sugar into your scalp basically i'll show you what it i'll show you what it looks like you only need the tiniest bit um i think it was about 12 pound let me double check the price so this was nine pound so it was even cheaper than i thought it was um and it's really good for just clearing your scalp a little bit and it also encourages your hair to grow a lot faster as well because obviously if your roots aren't clogged up and they're free to grow it'll encourage length and then on the same day that I use the scrub instead of my shampoo instead of conditioner I'll use this which is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Nourishing Hair Food and this is the banana and shea one um, shea, shea, 
shear butter, that's how I think you say it. It's not going to focus again. There you go. So it's just this hair mask basically. It's actually a three in one so you can use this as a hair mask, conditioner or as a leave-in conditioner as well. So you can use it on wet or dry hair, whack a little bit in your ends if like the ends of your hair are feeling sort of dry. And this smell, honestly, this smells amazing. Um, you get so much in here as well, like, and you only need the tiniest bit. So I use this once a week as well, just to try and keep my hair, you know, healthy, nourished. Um, and as well, because it is such a big pot, it lasts forever. I got this in B&M and it was 3 99 but I know you can get it in like supermarkets and stuff, but obviously you will be paying a little bit more. So that's everything I'll use like in the shower. Then moving on to the products I use once I'm out of the shower. Um, the first thing I'll use is uh, um, just this heat protectant spray. This is obviously if I'm drying my hair. Um, it's just like a super drugs own heat protectant spray. But it does the job. I really, really like it. Um, and it works. So I think it's so important. Like, trust me. If you have dyed hair, or even if you're putting a lot of heat on your hair, please use something. Um, I didn't. I never used it until Reese's mum was like to me, do you know how bad it is for your hair to not be protecting it with something um, so she actually gave me this bottle and I'm still using it and um, I've really noticed a difference in the way my hair feels since I've put in a, been putting a protectant on it when I use heat on it I rarely use heat on my hair unless I'm blow drying it that's the only time I will I don't straighten it or curl it really um, but this is just when I'm doing that the next thing I use is the bedhead small talk now this is my saviour it adds body and volume, energises limp hair, styles, defies, separates and controls. So you can basically just use it whenever. I'll put this on wet hair, like towel dried hair, and then I'll blow dry my hair. Also, another tip, if you have really flat hair, flip your head over and then blow dry from underneath. That's what I do because it just encourages your hair to like prop itself up a little bit more, I guess. I don't really know. But... It I might be talking a load of rubbish, but this is just what I do, so um, it works for me. This little bottle is £8.99 from B&M, and it has lasted me forever. I actually got this off my friend Ella. Um, she was using it one day, and she was like, this is amazing, use it. I tried it, and I fell in love with it. And then, finally, this is one that I've only started using really recently. Um, it was in my haul that I did last week, actually, and it's the Lee Stafford Bleach Blondes Conditioning Spray. Um, so I was using purple shampoo sort of once a week and I noticed that sometimes my hair could go a little bit purple which is normal with purple shampoo I know that it's what I'm expecting but because I am so blonde um, I'm, I don't necessarily want silver hair I want to be blonde I thought I need to find an alternative that won't give me that purple tinge so I saw this um, I'll probably use this every other hair wash, so I wash my hair every other day and then I'll use it every other time I wash my hair, so probably only about twice a week, which is the recommendation on here anyway. Smells amazing, this has that real stepped out of a salon smell. I was walking around yesterday and like smelling my hair, you're like, oh this smells nice, I like the smell of this. Um, so I'd really give this a go, it's on offer at the minute as well at Boots, it's got a third off, the whole of Lee Stafford has. Um, and I think it was about 4 99 So for a 150ml bottle, and you only use a tiny bit as well, I don't think that's bad value at all. But this is like the last step. Before I dry my hair, I spray this on my hair. And um, yeah, that's me pretty much good to go. So yeah, I suppose that's my hair care routine um, and sort of just the products that I enjoy using. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. I'll leave all the links to the products like in the description down below if I can find them, if you want to check them out, because um, I really would recommend them. And if you have any more suggestions for any other videos, please do let me know. I also want to let you guys know that I've got a week off work, not next week, the week after. And I'm going to be doing a week long of uploads. So if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see on that as well, please let me know. And I will see you all next time.